is going on guys it's your boy Justin from the J Media and I'm back with another video so a few videos back you guys might have saw that I'm in the process of getting my 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer GT tuned uh, so I'll be getting it tuned from the famous Rick uh, who owns Rally Inspired he has been tuning this platform for over 10 years now so it's really experienced you know what he's doing um, unfortunately my platform for the Lancer GT, you don't get too many tuners who know how to tune it. People always know how to tune like the Evo 10s, um, but you know, it's a totally different motor, so it's different tuning. Uh, so yeah, he has a lot of experience, so I trust him. He's not local to Austin, where I live, but he does remote tunes as well as, well as e-tunes, which is what I'm doing. So we've just been, you know, emailing back and forth for a couple months now to get him to understand what I want to get done to my car. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this process. Today, uh, he already sent me the file, a base map. I'll be showing you guys how to load that base map onto the car. Um, and then if we have some time, we might do some data logging as well. So uh, pretty much in the previous videos, I did make on... Uh, so, okay, few things before you start. You have to have a few things. So first things first, you have to buy the Tectrix open port cable. Uh, this is Tectrix 2.0 cable. So this is the wire. That plugs in from your laptop to the car itself uh, to read the files on it and then you also do have to have evo scan software uh, that can be purchased for about 25 bucks um, and then you also need ecu flash software uh, you know so evo scan and ecu software ecu flash you have to have that on your computer loaded up so what i did let me just show you guys so i'm here on my laptop i have everything on this folder i titled tuning so i'm just double click on that so as you can tell, I have ECU flash. Uh, I also have my Evo scan software right here. So these three files were sent to me by Rick. Um, so the first base map I'm gonna be loading is this logging file. Uh, it's an SRF file. So if you guys hear me here say SRF file, that's the base map. And it's also the XML file that I'll send. Uh, so yeah, pretty much what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna look through some instructions and see what steps I have to take before you know loading on the base map. Alright so like I said I have this base map file so the first thing I have to do is download it when he sent it to me so I already have it downloaded on my computer uh, and then the next thing you have to move the downloaded XML file which is one of the XML files to the ROMI data folder in my ECU flash program so under my ECU flash program folder, so here are my instructions depending on what kind of computer you have. Uh, the ROMI data file might be found separately. So for me, I have the 64-bit Windows. Um, so yeah, that's where you'll find the file. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open the ECU flash. So I'm going to double click on that, double click on ECU flash, let it load. So once ECU flash has been loaded, I'm going to open the SRF file, which is my base map. And then once it loads, it should show up with my name as well as the model. So let me let the ECU flash load real quick. Okay, so ECU flash has been loaded. So I'm going to go ahead and file open. I'm going to open the base map, which is SRF file. So select the SRF file here open so if you open it through windows it wouldn't show up as anything but you have to open it through ecu flash all right so i'm also by my car and this is the car we are working with today so now what i have to do is go ahead and plug in the tectrix cable to my car so i'm going to go ahead and do that like i said i already have my ecu flash all loaded up here with my base map now I'll just load it onto my car Okay, so once Tectrix cable is connected, you'll see the Tectrix cable blinking in a few different colors. That's normal. Alright, so right now everything's been connected. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my car. I'm not going to start the car. Just do two clicks, switch it on, and then I'm going to click this red arrow right here to write over the base map to my uh, car. Testing. System ready. So just two clicks to switch it on. 
and now that car is on I'm gonna go ahead and click on the red arrow so ignition is already on on press OK so right now I'm not gonna touch it is reading is transferring the files and on here your screen will go a little crazy but just leave it the fan are gonna kick on it's gonna look like a Christmas tree but it's okay let it do its thing so really important thing to note make sure your laptop has power so my laptop is fully charged make sure your car battery has power as well do not touch it so right now it is loading it's about almost done 78 percent 84 almost done so just wait for it to load and if for any reason if it fails do not turn off the car i repeat do not turn off the car because you don't want to break your ecu okay so perfect it says it says here that completed successfully if you are done with the ecu turn the ignition off so now that i am done i can go ahead and click ok and turn the ignition off okay so done so right now just like that base map has been loaded onto my ecu all right so there you have it that is how you can transfer your base map from ecu flash over to your car um, so again this is done on my 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer GT uh, from my understanding I think with a lot of Mitsubishis whether it's the Rally Arts or the Evo 10s they're pretty similar don't quote me on that for sure um, but yeah I'm just gonna do my logging in a minute so stay tuned for the video I'm gonna keep on a separate video so if you guys didn't know what logging is so once I've transferred my base map uh, basically I'm gonna send some uh, information to my tuner so let me look at what he needs here um, so it tells me the logging process here Take two minute, uh, take two one minute data logs at idle. Take two one minute data logs while cruising at consistent speeds, and then I'm gonna do some stuff like uh, first to fourth gear cruise, uh, first to fourth gear wide open open throttle, which means stepping on the gas all the way. So stuff like that, and I'm gonna send all those maps to my tuners, uh, and then he'll get back to me and you know tweak it here and there. So like I said, most of the time if you're tuning with the tuner in person, uh, it can be done in an afternoon in a couple hours. But since mine is a remote tune, you know, it's it takes a while. Uh, I have to send it back and forth via email. So I'm going to end this video here. If you guys like this video on how to transfer your base map to your car, leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one.